James, what's wrong? Look at this gun. And tell me there is a God. It's an abomination. It is a perversion of nature. Let's go shoot it. Disgusting. Ooh, boys, I may have just gotten you with some clickbait, some tricky clickbait, trick bait, if you will. There is no official Glock 48X, but you bet your ass we made one anyways. We did a little, made a, I guess you would call it a cat possum, like we took two great things and made a hybrid with a Glock 43 lower, that is single stack, six round, 0.9 inches thick, ultra compact, the smallest 9mm Glock makes, and we popped a Glock 48 upper on it. The Glock 48 is, of course, the longer slide version of the slightly larger Glock 43X. And yes, you can do this at home. All you have to do is get a Glock 48 slide, get a Glock 43, put the 48 slide on the 43, boom, it's done. And I promise you, as you'll see in this video, works flawlessly that way. So why would we do this other than to f with the viewers with a tricky title? Well, there's actually a really good reason for that, and that is the argument that you hear oftentimes, and perhaps the existence for the Glock 48, that having more weight, longer barrel, longer sight radius leads to increased performance. I mean, it is, after all, physics. If you have a heavier gun, especially when that weight is further down the muzzle, you should theoretically have less flip. You're also gonna have a barrel that's about an inch longer with the 48 over the 43 or the 43X, and that can lead to a pretty decent performance increase. You're probably talking around 50 or 60 feet per second, depending on the ammo, which is nothing to scoff at. Okay, James, you've convinced me at this point, why would I not just carry a Glock 48? Not so fast. You've had a lot of people who've advocated for this exact setup over the years, having an abbreviated butt and having a smaller frame with a full size slide and a longer barrel. The reason for that primarily has to do with carrying the gun. If you're going to carry a gun like the Glock 43 where you're dangling a pinky, it's going to be a lot easier to conceal because if you carry tip down like this, the butt right here is the part that's gonna show if you're bending over, if you're contorting in such a way that you print. The butt, in short, is what's going to print, not necessarily the length of the barrel. That's why you might want a little butt. But if you do want to get a full grip, like you don't want to dangle a pinky, which could be a problem. If you guys remember, we did a little accuracy test a couple of weeks ago. We did the Glock 43 versus the 43X and the 48. And the main problem with the 43 is the fact that you can't apply any grip pressure with your pinky because it's hanging off the butt of the gun. Well, guess what? You can just get extended capacity magazines, throw a plus one, plus two, plus three on here, and you've got, next thing you know, nine rounds plus one in the chamber, and you can get a full grip on the gun. So it gives you a lot of options, and there are a lot of really good arguments for this precise type of setup. But does it really make a difference? You guys saw our results from the last test where we shot the Glock 43 versus the 43X versus the 48. You can get a full grip on the 43X and the 48, and they both shot better than the 43X. Not a huge shocker there. What we really wanted to see was your performance difference if you decided to add on this slide and you decided to add an extra two ounces of weight. You're talking about roughly 16 and a half ounces for a Glock 43 and configured as the 48X as we're calling it. This is about 18 and a half ounces. So if you're actually going to carry a bigger, heavier gun does it translate into actual practical results? Myself, Brandon LaBeouf, one of the best pistol shooters I know and the owner of the St. Bernard Indoor Shooting Center, and Ryan, our camera guy, and also a really good pistol shooter, the three of us took the Glock 43 and the Glock 48X to St. Bernard Indoor Shooting Center. We set up targets at 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet. We each shot six rounds through each gun, and we were trying to do it not as fast as possible, but six rounds in under five seconds at each of those distances. Then we took the scores and we measured the group sizes. So did we get any advantage from this longer sight radius, longer barrel, and more weight on the muzzle? <laughs> Ryan, what'd you think of that? Well, all you gotta do is look at the target. Dang! <laughs>
48X, um, awesome. Small grip, long slide. It's like a miniature Glock 34, so. Is it better than the Glock 43? Than the Glock 43? Yeah. Uh, maybe because of the sight radius, uh, maybe so. I think I shot it way better. Um, so just because of the sight radius, maybe it is better. Think about the difference in weight on the end of the gun yeah. from the actual 43. That you're, that really is you shoot fast. I have to admit that, <laughs> that I shot this monstrosity much better. I mean, about as well as I shot the 43X, if not better. It is better. At first, it's like when you uh, get up in the morning and you forget that you brush your teeth and you take a big old swig of orange juice and you're like, why'd I do that? But. <laughs> You know, after you get that first swallow pass, you're like, wait a minute, okay, I'm, I'm all right, it's not that bad. Um, I think that more, that weight, it was such an abomination in the other direction that if you're looking for concealment, uh, the ability to hide the gun, all that weight on the front end of the gun actually made it quite controllable. That's so funny, man. If we wanna walk over here and check it out, but the exact same thing that happened, look at that, there's three, a clover right there. But it's the exact same thing that happened with me up here with the 43 frame. And then if you look at Brandon's, same thing. Interesting. So averaging all of the scores, we averaged roughly a 51 out of 60 with the Glock 43 at 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, all combined, all averaged together. That's an average of 85%. In other words, if we shot on average all bullseyes, that would be 100%. But 85%, which is not too shabby at realistic distances of 10, 20, and 30 feet. I also added all of the group sizes together, threw away the worst group size, and then averaged that. With the Glock 43, we had a 2.365 inch group average. And again, that's myself, Ryan, Brandon, all combined at 10 feet, 20 feet, 30 feet, all combined, all averaged. With the Glock 48X, we averaged only a point higher. So like roughly a 52 out of 60 or 86%. That's how we did with the Glock 48X. So only like a percentage better in terms of shooting performance. Now the group on average was a little bit tighter. 1.92 inches was the average group size. But at the 10 foot range especially, the Glock 48X outshot the Glock 43. We all shot like sub one inch groups for some reason with the Glock 48X, uh, not as well with the Glock 43. And also the only perfect score of the day with those two pistols, I managed to shoot a perfect 10 out of 10 with the Glock 48X at the 10 foot distance. So does the Glock 48X with the longer slide, longer barrel, longer sight radius, does it actually shoot better under stress, rapid fire than the Glock 43? Technically, yes. But does it shoot two ounces better? As in, does it shoot well enough that that extra two ounces of weight and that extra length is worth it? Possibly, that's really up to you. I mean, a 16 and a half ounce gun versus an 18 and a half ounce gun with a slightly longer barrel you're not talking about a real big difference between the two. And you also can't write off the difference in ballistic performance that you're gonna get out of that longer barrel that you're going to have with the 48 upper versus the standard 43 upper. So I don't know, you guys tell me. I mean, tell me in the comments. Do I need to call up my close personal friend and father, Gaston Glock, and tell him to start pumping out 43s with 48 slides? Maybe, maybe not. Are you guys gonna be walking around with this like, Looks like a, a big dick chihuahua or something, you know, with this tiny frame and this huge sliding barrel. Is it, it, does it have any appeal to you? Let me know in the comments, but thanks a ton just for watching. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate our Patreon and subscribe star supporters. You guys, the channel wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So we really appreciate your support. Make sure to get on there, sign up. We give away four guns a month and three blue alpha belts, and they're a great sponsor too. We love those guys. Our Patreon and our subscribe star supporters at the five and the $10 level are automatically entered to win a free gun, one of four free guns every single month. Those guns are given away by the best sponsor in the entire world, your online shooting sports superstore, Top Gun Supply. They're the ones that supply, do you like that? <laughs> that supply the guns 
for the giveaway, but you guys supply the views and you keep us in business. I'm appreciative forever and ever. Happy New Year. Take care.